Hi friends let's read a story book called Walter the Wonder Snail be brave be curious be Walter let's get started Walter the snail lives under a tall white tree at the bottom of a giant bumpy hill He doesn't know this of course down on the ground all he can see is leaves big leaves small leaves shooting looping drooping leaves I'm so bored of leaves moaned Walter There must be more to life than leaves wonders Walter aloud Not really replied the other snails This is what snails do munch munch shuffle slide munch But I want to climb high. I want to travel far. I want to move fast, says Walter. That's not what snails do. They love. Well, I think it's time to think big, announces Walter. It's time to leave the leaves. His shell is packed. His hat is on. Walter slides into the unknown. Slowly. Walter travels over rugged rocks and near prickly plants, under towering flowers and past peculiar objects. And then, what is it? Walter looks up at a tall white tree. He starts to climb. Up, up, up he goes. Oh wow, he says to himself. This isn't what snails do. Maybe This one does says a sprightly voice. Who is it? It's Lottie the squirrel. I will show you how to climb high, she says. And with a spring and a skip, they scamper up the tree. Higher and higher they climb, scurrying and hurrying, bouncing through the branches. See, it's easy," says Lotti. "Yes," smiles Walter. "I think I can even reach the top on my own." Walter soon finds himself on a long branch stretching out toward a giant bumpy hill. "I want to travel far." "But that's not what snails do," says Walter. "Maybe this one does," says a chirpy voice. Who is it? It's Frida the bird. Come with me. I can show you how to travel far. Thanks, Frida. And with a feathery flap, they fly up and away. Walter can't believe his eyes as they soar over colorful fields. There was so much to see, so much more than leaves. They land at the top of the giant bumpy hill at the edge of a pond. You see, says Frida, you can travel far. So Walter pushes on pebble by pebble toward the pond. I can't swim, cries Walter. This is not what snails do. Maybe this one does, says a croaky voice. Who is it? Is Kendrick the frog? You can do whatever you put your mind to, he says. Come on, let's jump in together. Walter shuffles and squelches onto Kendrick's back. With a fantastic flick, they fling into the air. Quickly up, boing, and quickly down. Splash, blip, blip. Splish, splush, splash. They kick and they wiggle deep below the water. Walter peeps out of his shell. So different, so dark, so dangerous. There is more to life than leaves. But oh dear, I am so far away from home. Take me back to dry land. Kendrick drops Walter off on not so dry land. 
The sky has turned dark and raindrops are falling. Trip, trop, splat. Walter takes shelter under a leaf. Maybe leaves aren't so bad after all, says Walter as he falls asleep. A short time later, Walter wakes up confused and remembers home. The snail will be starting to worry. I must get home fast. Don't think snails can move fast, says a thumping voice. Who is it? Will turn the rabbit. But I have climbed high, swum deep, and traveled far, says Walter proudly. I can do anything I put my mind to. That's impressive, says Walton. But can you move fast? Walter looks up at Walton. He does not say a word, but he wonders. He tucks his head into his shell. and rocks backward and then with a jolt forward walter begins to roll bump notch tumble slide bump walter rolls and rolls down the giant puppy hill he goes whoop whoa woohoo walter is moving fast He zooms past the pond, spins through the colorful fields, bounces between the towering trees, and soon he is back among the leaves. Snails, I'm back. I have been here, there, and everywhere. Grins Walter. I now know that anyone can do anything they put their mind to. You have just got to think big. I climbed high, I traveled far, I swam deep and I moved fast. But that's not what snails do. See the other snails. Walter the wonder snail does. Sees Walter with a big smile.